Sean here and welcome to my channel. Just very few words uh, before I start playing. The song for this lesson uh, is, I, I have that song from the uh, Robin Ford uh, album called Tiger Walk, where it's one of the bonus tracks. And it's, it's a really uh, beautiful song with many beautiful chord combinations. And it's, it's such a pleasure just to play the chords on, on this song. Uh, it's also a little challenging, so I would recommend that you start playing the A section, the first A section. When you have learned that, you take the second A, A section, then you take the B section of the song, and you can end uh, with, the, with the ending of, of, of the song. That's a great chord ending, chord outro that sounds really great, but it's also challenging because there are many chords. But it's, it's one of the most beautiful endings of, of, of a blues song that I know of. Hope you will enjoy this song, have a lot of fun. Take a close look at this, these uh, beautiful chords. Uh, first, the first uh, eight bars. It goes starts like this. And a G major seven. And it goes up to this Jimi Hendrix chord. It's a D seven sharp nine. You probably know it up from E. Now it's just down in D. Okay, so until now we have... Start with 
these chords, uh, T, major 7, A, uh, a minor 7, instead of playing it like this, I play with a, a third finger over the four first strings here, and the second finger down on the sixth uh, string, and the fifth string is uh, muted. Okay. second string in, in the fourth fret and then the fourth finger up here in the sixth fret. It's just the four strings you take here. So and now we go to a, a C9 and now we come a half step above. to a, uh, a BB9 down to A9 and uh, goes to a, a, a G sharp 13 so uh, we have this uh, Also take the thumb. Uh, I play. I can show you this version it's, uh, in the seventh uh, fret, the fifth string, first finger here, and down on the uh, third finger you have the second. Uh, down on the third string you have the second finger, and up in the uh, eighth fret, the third string, the fourth string you have the third finger, and down on the Second string, you have the fourth finger, and then I often take the C, and this is more easy to be to visualize where you are. So I take this one. If you can't do that, just take this one. Whole tone down, half tone down to A, and then we take this. Uh, G, G sharp uh, 13. Okay, let me try to play that first turn around, 8 bar turn around. Just play it up here instead of here. First finger here in the fourth uh, string, fifth fret, and on the seventh fret you have the third finger lying over the four, or no, it's actually the three 
uh, high strings. So you have. Okay. So you have. Then follows a uh, A minor 9. Just uh, the first finger over the fourth first and then have the 9 up in the top. Okay, so we have. to the same chords as before. Okay, uh, should we try to play the second turn around? So Okay, let's take a look at the B section and we try to take the last chords of the A section that leads to this B section. Seven sharp five. You have the root here and the flat seven here, same fret. Up in the third fret, you have the on the third string, the third fret, you have the third finger, <laughs> and down on the second string, you have the uh, fourth finger. So we have this uh, F sharp, uh, F sharp seven sharp five. A string is muted through this one, and you just play down to the second string. Not, don't take the first string. So, and then we go on with a B seven sharp nine. Is this Jimi Hendrix chord? You probably know. Okay, so we have. Take the same chord up here. It's just another fingering. Second finger here on the sixth string, seventh fret. First finger here on the sixth fret, the fifth string. And on, on the seventh fret, the fourth string, I have my third finger here. And then yeah, I add with my fourth finger. And on the third string, also the seventh fret. Just uh, down, down to the uh, uh, to the third string, not the two upper strings here. Okay, so we have until now. but you can just stay in the chord if you want. It gets four beats just like this one. One, two, three, four. Sharp uh, minor nine. 
finger here in the, on the uh, fourth string, the uh, eighth fret, the uh, second finger on the third string here in the, in the ninth fret, up in the tenth fret on the uh, five string, the fifth string, you have the third finger. And you just take these three notes. Now we have chromatic movement in A, half step up here, half step up again, and you take the uh, A7 that you are probably familiar with. You go to the D and you add this uh, 13th up here. Okay, let's take a close look at the last uh, part of the song, which is an A theme and an ending. And uh, the A theme, we know already that one. descending uh, chords of the ending and uh, the first one is a G, uh, G7, D major 7 going down to this, uh, uh, it's a F sharp, uh, 7 sharp 5, we have already had that chord. two are, are in the third fret, the third finger here, and the fourth finger down in the fifth string, also the third fret, and the A string is muted. So we have this is a kind of 13th, you have the first finger over all the strings here, second finger up here in the second fret, third string, and fourth finger on the third uh, fret, the second string. to the E, 7 sharp 5. I have my 2nd finger here on the 5th string, down on the 4th string. I have my 3rd finger and my 1st finger are over the 3rd and the 2nd uh, string here. So we have... here to the E flat or D sharp uh, 9 or with the 13th up here. It's actually a, we call it, call it a E flat uh, 13. I 
it just on the A or the T, of course. You have this cool uh, chord up here, which is a G with a, a B in the bass. It's a f in the fifth fret and a fourth string. You have this one. The second finger up here in the sixth fret. Uh, it must be the ninth, sixth string, and the seventh fret. Same fret down on the third string, you have the third finger. And on the eighth fret, the second string, you have the fourth finger. And the A is muted on this one. I just play. We have this again. This We already know that one is a C major seven. Now we have a uh, C sharp uh, diminished, and I have my second finger here up in the in the sixth string, and uh, down in the eighth fret, uh, I have my first finger over the fourth, the third, and the second string here, and my third finger up in the ninth fret on the third string here. So we have uh, the last ascending chord. It's a D, it could be looked upon as a C with a D in the bass, but it could also be called a D11. But you just take this uh, triad, uh, major triad, and then you have have to take the bass out, out here. So I I change the fingers to so we have. You should play that with a pick. I don't know how I... I think it sounds much better with a finger played. So the last uh, part, uh, of this, uh, the last end of the song would sound a little bit like this.
Thank you.